I think the best advice that I got when I was coming into college was to take risks. You're surrounded by everyone and we're all in the same place and yet very, very different places. That's the time when you can expand and add things to your repertoire of experiences and also give some of your experiences to other people as well because everything that you've done is new to them as well. Advice I would give a university student would be to try everything out. Don't be afraid, don't hold back. Go to those groups, become part of an organization, whether it be a sorority or just a, an academic org, whatever you want, just try it out. Go out there, even if no one wants to go with you, make new friends. Pay attention to your classes and focus on your classes, but not so much that it consumes your life and it uh, damages your mental health or you're having a good time with people and experiencing things. If I were to give undergraduate students advice, I would tell them to worry less about where you need to be in five years and enjoy the moment. When I came here, I joined the rowing team, which was kind of just like on a whim, but um, yeah, that ended up just like totally changing my life, changing all my study habits. It takes up a lot of your time, so you have to have a more regimented schedule. So I wouldn't get back from, I'd go to practice from like five to nine in the morning. And then we'd also have like additional practices in the afternoon and then add that to your classes. And then you also have, um, I don't know, just time to eat and be with friends. But in between that, you have to study so hard and be way more efficient. I also ask them to take risks, to not be afraid, to make mistakes, because the mistakes we make is usually the things that we remember. And if we don't make those mistakes, then we won't learn. And so to just remind them to, to relax and to have a good time and to be kind to themselves. Your purpose here is not to gain a certain income bracket after this experience. It's not to join the middle class. It's not to get a job. It's to cultivate your mind. Because you only have four years here and you have this abundance of knowledge. These professors have so much knowledge that just asking them questions about what they're what they know, what they've studied, um, makes everything more real. So getting to your, know your professors is one of the biggest things.